we alhamdulillah have received questions online and also here in the audience. So I'll read this one from the audience, inshallah. As someone who wants to be a parent one day, inshallah, how do you gently teach your kids about Islam? Especially in today's world, there are a lot of bad influences that can take us away from the deen. Anybody want to take it? Yeah? Bismillah. So, um, as far as the bad forces that can take uh, people away from the deen, uh, something that Am Amutarif, who is a very respected scholar, uncle in the community here, uh, one of my friends asked him, you know, what do we do with all the horrific, horrible things that we see in the world that are going on around us that cause us to be afraid, cause us to worry for the sake of our children? What do we do about that? And he said something really interesting. He said, in every storm that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created, he's created an eye, the eye of the storm, right? Where everything's calm, everything's safe, nothing's flying around. So pray that Allah keeps you in the eye of the storm. So it's true, there are things going on all around us that are horrific. There's also a lot of beauty all around us as well, mashallah. And we pray to Allah um, every day, and our children see us praying for this as well, that Allah keeps us in his protection, keeps us in the eye of the storm. I mean, um, as far as how to gently teach the children about the deen, the children have to see a lot of joy in the practice of the deen. And they have to see that Islam works. They have to see that Islam gives you a dignified life, and it gives you a clean life, and it gives you a better option for a way of living than what others may be choosing all around them. And eventually, they will come to see the difference between right and wrong because what's right has been presented in such a beautiful way to them their entire lives. So I, I had somebody once say, um, well, I don't want to say anything that sounds like bragging, so I just want to be careful. Um, well, okay, I had somebody once say to me that um, you're one of the only happy Muslims I know. So, you know, and, and they were saying that's why they wanted me to speak at a public event. So they were like, you're a happy Muslim. You're a happy woman who's a Muslim. And I thought that was a very sad statement to make because why don't we look happy? Why, I know that we're worried about the next life and we're worried about how to get through this world in safety, Jala, but our deen gives us so much beauty and so much dignity and so much grace and so much hope. There's so much hope and there's so much beauty around us. So instead of just focusing on all the negative that's out there, also get our kids to see all the positive, right? So if kids see that Islam is the reason that parents treat each other with respect and Islam is the reason we smell nice and Islam is the reason our homes are clean and Islam is the reason we treat our elders with respect and Islam is the reason we pay our bills on time, Islam is the reason we keep our promises, they will eventually choose it for themselves, inshallah. We want them to choose it because they recognize that it's the al haq obviously. But when they also see that it gives you a dignified life, they will choose it for themselves, inshallah. And teach it with a smile. 